And, and actually speaking of help, if you scroll up on your, um, on your document here, one thing that I really appreciate that you guys have done is you show them exactly how you need to hook it up. So yeah. I mean, this is great for somebody that really doesn't know a lot about audio, but I mean, just about anybody should be able to follow that diagram. Yeah, we, mm -hmm. we don't make it overly complicated. This is not uh, an architect's drawing or anything, but it shows where, you know, the wire goes, A to B. Uh, this is how you connect it up. And, and, and for most people, this is doable. Yeah. And um, that's on the left. Those are your burial subs. Those are pretty cool. Yeah, yeah. The burial subs, if, 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 if you can go that route, um, man, it's, it's, it's a great sound in subwoofer. You get no resonance from the cabinet. So let me let me give you my 10 cents on cabinet resonance. It doesn't matter whether it's a box speaker or a uh, subwoofer or an outdoor speaker. It doesn't matter what it is. If you can touch that cabinet when it's playing, if you feel any resonance, any vibration at all, that's distortion. Mm -hmm. That is distortion because if it's, if it's vibrating or resonating, it's creating noise. Gotcha. And it's not the noise that comes out of the drive unit, which is the only pure sound that you, you want from that speaker is what comes from the drive unit. So if you have a poorly made floor stand in speaker from any manufacturer and the cabinet vibrates and, and, and makes noise, that's, that's distortion. And that's the enemy of clarity and, and uh, fidelity. So, Simon, quick, quick question. So I'm looking at all the, the diagrams, and that's a great question that you had, Michael, about you know hooking stuff up because the one thing is this is different than hooking stuff up indoors because you have to kind of consider this is going to be exposed uh, outdoors. Is there some special wiring that you need, or uh, you know what do you have to consider when you're doing so, some of this stuff? So yeah, we so first of all, um, and it's a it, it's it's singularly the probably the hardest thing you have to do is wire this stuff up. Putting them in place, and it, that's easy. Us telling you where to mount them, that's easy. Screwing them into a, you know, in the ground or on a, on a side of a patio, that's easy. But how do you get the cables to where the electronics are in a, in a way that they, they, it's not gonna be affected by weather? Um, and, and that is the biggest challenge. Uh, and obviously every house is different and every backyard's different. Where the equipment can be positioned is gonna be different everywhere. If, if there's a place outside, you can put equipment in a, in, a, in a weatherproof cabinet or it's under a cover or just somewhere where you can keep it protected from the elements, great. Makes life a bit easier because you haven't got to get the wires inside the house. Um, but if you have to get the, the wires inside the house, obviously the fewest number of points of entry, the better. Better, yeah. So when you're thinking about wiring an outdoor system, just look at look at your whole backyard property. Look at where the 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 the, the, the hardscaping is, the concrete, and look at where the, the lawn is and and the borders. Because you can run cables where there's lawn or borders real easy. You know, particularly around the perimeter, get down mm -hmm. six inches. You know, with a with a just a pickaxe or whatever or a shovel, and lay these direct burial speaker wires that we make and and, and sell. Whether it's uh, uh, 14 gauge or 12 gauge, uh, four core or, or, or two, we, whatever the cable you need, we we have it at ridiculous prices. Um, and 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 lay all those cables in the same trench and bring them to one point on the outside of your house, closest to where the electronics are going to be on the inside. And then either hire a professional to drill a hole in your wall if you're not comfortable doing it yourself. But if you're comfortable, drill the hole in your wall, put the right little plate in place to stop mm -hmm. work and get it back in. Um, and then you, all the cables come inside and that's where you mount your multi-channel amplifier or single two stereo or you connect to your AVR or whatever it is you can do. And that's where you mount your uh, streaming equipment, your source source equipment, um, and uh, and it stays inside and out of, the, out of the weather. So it's a great question, Joe, and it is a challenge. Um, and it's one of those things that we get asked about a lot. Yeah, so you, you can't just, you, you wouldn't recommend just using ordinary <clears throat> cables, I guess. No. Okay. That's, that's <laughs> you got to use, use something specific. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's, 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 it's called direct burial mm. speaker cable. And you can get it from Home Depot and Lowe's and, uh, or from us at even lower prices. Um, and it comes with a, a sheath that is, uh, is, is intended to be buried directly in the ground. Mm. Mm. So it's not going to rot over, ye over the time. It's not going to dissolve or it's not going to be affected by moisture in right. the ground it'll last forever now there are a lot of people that would say put some some pvc piping down and run the cable through the piping like and conduit kind of like thing conduit, yeah 
yeah, and you can use plumbing cable to do that, you know, irrigation type cable, uh, 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 um, not cable. Pipes. Pipes. Pipe, yeah. yeah, enclosure. Um, and, and I would say, if you think there's any likelihood at some point that someone's going to get a pickaxe and drive it six inches into the ground where you've got some cable, then, yeah, that you might need that to protect it. Got it. But, but you'll look at your layout and you'll think, now, if I put it here, no one's ever going to dig there. And if it's close to a boundary, you're, you're in pretty good shape. But right. mm -hmm. if it's close to a boundary that's a, that's, a, that's a fence and that fence falls apart in 20 years and someone right. uh, digging it up. Place it, digs it up and now, yeah, maybe. So, yeah. so you know, think about it. And that, those, that tube in those pipes are not expensive. You're getting me hyped up to to get a house so I can have outdoor system. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs>